you mentioned that for weak hadith, the probability that the Prophet said it is greater than the probability he did not. Is this true for all weak hadith? It's true for all hadith except for mutawatir hadith. I mean, we forget that even the sahih hadith are probabilistic, but the probability becomes very, very high. So if it's in Sahih Bukhari, it's, it's going to have like a 95 to 99% probability. And when you get all six agreeing on the hadith, it's very strong. If it's mutawatir, it's factual. It's just like uh, 1066 or 1492. In 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. That's a, that is not a debatable fact. You, you can't. You know, you can't debate whether or not it was 1491 or 1493 because it's an agreed upon mutawatir uh, khabar. So it's a factual account of something that happened. And history is like that. Much of history is factual. We know that there was a president in 1960 elected named John Kennedy. He was Irish Catholic. We know those are those are mutawatir. There's no you can't debate those. If you start debating those then you're just a mad person. Like the Hindu PhD who's trying to prove that the Taj Mahal was built by Hindus before Islam. He's got a whole website. You know, this is madness. So the mutawatir hadith are like that. You can't, there, the, you can't debate mutawatir hadith. The Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And then you have tawatir al-lavdi wa ma'nawi. You have different types of tawatir. So one of them that is mutawatir is Naha Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam The Prophet prohibited killing women and children in war. It's prohibited any time, but it's prohibited in war to kill women and children. And also in, in the riwayah, ajir or non-combatant. Right? The only people that are, are people that are fighting. The monarchies took this so seriously that if there's women, because it's permissible if they're fighting you on the battlefield, like now there's certain armies that allow women in combat. So if they're fighting you, it's permissible. But in the Maliki Madhab, they took that mutawatir hadith so seriously that they said if you saw a woman on the battlefield, you should avoid fighting her to get out of that prohibition. So don't go, and unless they try to get you, you should go somewhere else. So, you know, th these are examples. So the, the hadith, the probability is greater or lesser depending on the level of weakness. And some of, the, you know, people forget some of these muhaddithun, they were thiqa, 100%, because you have to have five criteria for a sahih hadith. And one of them is dabt, that they had to be dabt. Right? So if they, if they had a weak memory, right, then they, even though they were trustworthy, but if they had weak, and their weak memory, they'd be like geniuses today. You know, a lot of these people, I mean, the Dabat, Imam al-Bukhari, when he went to Iraq and they tested him, they took a hundred different uh, senad. Each senad had like four or five people in it. They took a hundred and mixed them all around. And then they, they quoted the hadith to him. And from his memory, he said, those, those hadith, he said, the first one, is not sahih according to that senad, because you related it, this, 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 and this, but it is sahih according to this, and then he corrected it. He did all hundred without making one mistake. And when they saw that, they just said, نُسَلِّمُ لَهُ إِمَامَةَ الْحَدِيثِ You're the imam of this age. They gave that. وَالْمَيَابَ When he went to Al-Azhar, this is a true story. When he went to Al-Azhar, uh, he taught hadith at Al-Azhar, but his, they wanted to test him. And he, when he met all the muhaddithun, he, he said, Ana Fulan ibn Fulan ibn Fulan ibn Fulan ibn Fulan ibn Fulan ibn Fulan. And then he gave his whole, he said, Who are you? He said, Fulan ibn Fulan, Ibn Man, Ibn Fulan, Ibn Man, Ibn Fulan. And they went as far as he could, each one, all the shiukh. He said, uh, You can meet me tomorrow to test me. So the next day when he came back, he said, Salamu alaikum Fulan ibn Fulan ibn Fulan ibn Fulan ibn Fulan ibn Fulan. Salamu alaikum Fulan ibn Fulan ibn Fulan ibn Fulan. Salamu alaikum Fulan ibn Fulan ibn Fulan. And he went through the whole room and then he said, Man ana. You know, who am I? And none of them knew he could do the right, right thing. You know. And this, one of the Mauritanian Hufab saw two men get in a fight and they were speaking a Tekoror language, uh, one of Bambara. And, and they had a fight and, and one of them killed the other. And when the police came, he was the only witness. 
And, and they asked him what happened. He said, you know, I don't speak their language, but he said, and then he quoted him with the words he said in the language, and then he did the other one. And people say that that sounds crazy, but I've, I've, I've met these people. I mean, I've seen it with my own eyes. You know, literally seen it with my own eyes. So that, that's, you know, people don't know the, the, the level of memory that the Muslims were given. They were granted incredible gifts in memory. So uh, the hadith, you know, there, there are many, many hadith that, uh, that uh, might not be sound, but they're, you know, but something like that. But if they have 